Weather forecast for tonight. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So tonight, are uh, the weather's turned for the better. Uh, clear skies, wasn't expecting it. So decided to deploy the rig, and tonight, gonna hopefully capture the stunning Iris Nebula, NGC 7023. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to catch it tonight, um, cause my house is inconveniently in the way. So I may have to switch targets, uh, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, I have got a plan in place. For those that have never heard of the Iris Nebula, it's, oh, it's a beautiful object. It's a reflection nebula and it's basically a broadband target and probably benefit with not using a filter on this. But uh, because of the severe light pollution in the direction I'm going to be capturing this object, I'm going to be using my L Pro Max from Skytech as EOS clipping filter and I'm going to be uh, sticking that into my new filter tray from ZWO. Not a harsh filter as such, it lets uh, quite a lot of light through it and this is the reason I'm going to be using it. The scope I'm going to be using, and I have to say it's been getting a lot of use this year, is my William Optics Zenith Star 61 and hitching a ride on the back is my ASI 533MC Pro. I mentioned my house is in the way of the field of view, so what I've had to do, I've had to push my rig as far as it can over. Um, hopefully it's enough, you know, um, but by doing this, I've had to adjust all the legs at different lengths. Um, I'm not sure if it's the best idea I've had, but I'm gonna do it uh, anyway and see what happens. So, uh, what we'll do is, while we wait for the sun to go down I'm gonna hop inside and talk a little bit about more of what we're going to be capturing tonight the iris nebula um it's about uh 1300 light years away from earth and it's it can be found in the constellation cepheus i'll just put that on there so it's this constellation here this green box is where the nebula is it's quite close to the pole star um and it, it gets better as it it's through the night actually um it'll sort of swing swing round obviously like i mentioned my field of view is rubbish um so if i have to put it back another few weeks until the clay's house and so be it but uh hopefully hopefully we'll get it basically it's it's reflecting blue light off from from the star that's behind it uh of all the uh lovely dust that's surrounding it and it is, it's truly gorgeous. Just hope I can do it some justice. I don't know if I'm biting off more than what I can actually chew, but I'm gonna give it a go anyway. Uh, you know, um, if I get it wrong, I, you know, I learn by mistakes, I'll just try again. Uh, it's something I've been wanting to capture for quite some time. I'll just put this layer on. Uh, so this camera and the scope I'm gonna be using. If you're not aware, the red box that's around it, this, what should look like in the field of view. Like I do with all my images, I'll, I'll probably crop it, so I'm hoping it should look something like this. Hoping. So the settings I'm gonna be using, it's all still uh, quite new to me. Uh, I did go on um, a website and they, they, they were doing, again, a 120, with four minutes, so I may do a couple of test exposures and you will see what happens. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna draw up tide. It's getting dark enough now. I'm gonna uh, do my pole alignment and get ready for tonight's activities. Well, 
would you believe it? <laughs> it's clouded over. Yeah, I'll adjust this camera. Look at that. <laughs> Big dirty cloud. Uh, I'm going to go and check the weather app. As it did say clear about an hour ago. Um, well, uh, so according to this forecast, it's uh, going to clear up about 11. Which is in about 20 minutes. So hopefully I'll get the polar line there. Uh, I've got about an hour of good weather and then from midnight to one, clouds over and then two o'clock to four o'clock it's clear. So take that with a pinch of salt. Good old British weather. Um, changes at a moment's notice. Uh, Marvellous. Okay, well, we'll just see what goes on. Uh, I suppose I'll catch up you when it clears up, if it clears up. Oh, it's, uh, it's about quarter midnight now. The weather still hasn't cleared up. Uh, it's changed again, I've just checked the weather forecast there. Uh, it's looking like it's not gonna clear up till about two in the morning, and if that is the case, I'm probably gonna write the night off, to be honest. I don't think it's worth it, uh, due to the short nights that we're having. I'll stick around for another 20 minutes to see what you never know, but yeah, highly doubt it. Uh, tomorrow's forecast doesn't look great either. Uh, again, that could change. I'll, I'll keep a look out, you never know. Uh, next available night I've got after that will be Thursday night and Saturday night now. I'll work nights the first half of the week, so I won't be able to do anything until then. Fine, it's clear, of course. If not, I'll have to push it further on. Yeah, very anticlimactic. But these things do happen, you know. Fortunately, can't control the weather and it can change at a moment's notice, at least it does for me anyway. But um, well, at least I've got half of this video recorded. That's a bonus. Nearly a couple of weeks has passed since I last recorded for this video. I wanted a nice shiny image to show everyone and get lots of data on the iris and everything like that, but that's not going to happen. I'll, I have saw an opportunity though to highlight how sometimes astrophotography doesn't go to plan, especially when weather and weather forecasts are involved. But you know, when the odds are against you, uh, the odds are against you. So I did miss out on a few nights, but I was working and if I'm at work, uh, while there's a clear night, there's not really much I could do about it. I have to go to work and pay the bills. Uh, but I did miss out on a couple of nights due to really poor forecasts, which is really frustrating, to be honest. Um, having said this, I did get a little bit of data, uh, all of about 20 minutes, uh, which I'm gonna take you through now. And I warn you, this first image is a little cringe. It's a big pile of noisy mess. So anyway, you'll see that in a second. All right, as promised, uh, a lot of noise. Uh, so I ended up doing four minute exposures um, at the uh, a, a Unity game for the camera, which is a gain of 100 and offset of 70. Uh, I actually took a bit of a gamble and I did this unfiltered why there's so much noise uh, to be honest maybe I should have used the filter but uh, I, I thought I'd roll the dice <laughs> I had to really stretch this out uh, to draw as much detail as I possibly could so a lot of lots of curves and levels just I've balanced out a bit um, and yeah I was for what I got you know I'm, I'm, this amount of noise is to be expected uh, especially with no filter on it in the amount of light pollution I'm in so I, I took this further, and this is where I'm at now. Uh, by no means a finished product. Uh, still a lot of work to to do on this, uh, but I'm, I'm happy where it is, to be honest. I uh, had to do, as you can tell from the, the other image, uh, a lot of noise reduction. Uh, it's done some odd, really odd stuff to the stars. Um, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, all this dark area is where there's dust blocking out the stars. 
and uh, I'll, t I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I don't normally do this and compare my images with others, but I think it's now and again it's good as a, a reference. So I'll just bear with me, I'll probably skip this part. All right, so I'm online, I'm going to flick on some images, let's pick on one. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, this one looks alright actually. Um, just cross, cross reference it, so it sort of looks similar. Yeah, we'll have some of that. Let's have a look. Let's zoom in on that. Um, it is a JPEG, I think, by the looks of it. Yeah. <laughs> I've just realised who this image is, actually. <laughs> um, this image is from Astro Backyard. I can't, yeah, this is happening. I can't believe I'm uh, comparing my image with uh, Trevor Jones from Astro Backyard. Nice image, by the way, Trevor, if you ever watch this video. So... Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, I haven't done too bad of a job here. It's uh, recorded all this dust round here. Uh, yeah, not bad at all, to be honest, for the amount of data I've captured. Uh, I don't know if you can see on the video, I'll tell you what, I'll zoom out a bit. You can see uh, some of the dust recorded round, round here. And uh, why I haven't. But it, it is there, so I think maybe hopefully a bit more data captured. Uh, I'll I'll uh, manage to get some some of that. When was just curious? When did he take this image? Nearly four years ago. Anyway, uh, gonna might as well show you this. Uh, so I mentioned the big in the video, the my house uh, might got in the way. I, I had to wait to clear my from behind my house so I did a bit of concurrent activity and captured Messier 13 bit of fun uh, about 20 minutes a day again uh, yeah it was also quite noisy but uh, I'm quite quite happy with that I'm quite impressed with what I got it's a little fuzzy down here a uh, little galaxy well, that's, it's not bad that to be honest I think I'll uh, try and get some more data on that as well and see what I can do with it Okay, that is it. That's all I've got for you. Um, probably the most disjointed video I've done to date. Uh, nearly two weeks it's took to get sorted. Um, oh, I suppose we got there in the end. So, if you are just starting astrophotography or you think they're starting this amazing hobby, and it is an amazing hobby by the way, try not to get disheartened about things like this happening. Uh, it's, it's out of control. Uh, there's not a thing you can do. Oh, you just got a grin and bear it. Objects like this, they're not disappearing anytime soon. They're going to be in next year and the year after. Um, hopefully, I don't have to wait that long to get this image finished. It should be finished in the next month. And then once it is, I'll get posts out on Instagram with the, the rest of my images. Hope you enjoyed the video. I truly wish everyone a clear sky um, and I really need a clear sky because I'm getting itchy astro photography feet. Um, take care everyone, bye for now.